Lesson 86, Congruent and Similar Figures. In geometry, we spend a lot of time comparing two figures. To show you what I mean, look at these two triangles. Are these triangles the same size and shape? It looks like they are. If you could move the triangles, one would fit right on top of the other perfectly. That means the two triangles are congruent. Congruent figures are figures that are the same size and the same shape. That's one way we compare figures in geometry. Here's an example of two congruent parallelograms. See, they're the same size and the same shape, so they're congruent. It's possible to have congruent rhombuses or congruent trapezoids or congruent rectangles, you name it. As long as they're the same size and shape, they are congruent. Here are two plain quadrilaterals. Do they look like they're congruent to you? That's right, they do. Here are a couple of trapezoids. It's a little harder to tell if these are congruent because they're turned in different directions. Let me give you a little hint. Imagine flipping the second trapezoid over from right to left and then turning it some. That makes it look just like the first trapezoid. Now can you tell that they're congruent? They are. When you study geometry in high school, you'll have to prove logically that two figures are congruent. It's actually not enough just to guess at it by looking at the figures the way we're doing it. The reason that you'll have to prove everything, though, in high school is that it's hard to tell when the figures are turned in different directions and flipped around. We're not going to do any logical proofs in this book. We'll save that for high school. We'll just use our eyes and try to decide whether figures look congruent. Here's a good question, though. Why would anybody care whether two figures are exactly the same size and shape? You may have been asking yourself that. Actually, there are a lot of situations where it matters. What if you're running a factory that's manufacturing automobile parts, you know, parts that go inside of a car? It's really important that all the parts of a particular type be exactly the same size and shape as the others. If the parts were a different size, then that would be really frustrating because when your car broke down and you went to get a replacement part to fix it, the new part might not fit right. So people running factories have to make sure that the parts they're making are congruent. And there are a lot of other situations in the real world where you need to know about congruent figures. Sometimes when we compare two figures, they'll be the same shape, but a different size. Let's look at two triangles again. See, these triangles are a different size. The first one is quite a bit bigger than the second one, but they still have the same shape. That means they're similar triangles. Figures that are similar have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. There can be similar triangles, similar trapezoids, similar parallelograms, similar rectangles, and on and on. Here are two rectangles. Do these look similar? That's right, they do. In geometry, you're supposed to prove logically that two figures are similar. And the process is a lot like proving that figures are congruent, but we'll just use our eyes for similar figures too, and just see if figures look like they're the same shape. There are a lot of places where the concept of similar figures is used in the real world. An interior decorator looks at floor plans when decorating a house. The floor plan would have all of the rooms of the house drawn in the proper places. That's the way a floor plan works. And then the rooms would have to have the same shape as the rooms in the real house. And the floor plan would show where the furniture is supposed to go and the furniture in the drawing would have the same shape as the real furniture. But obviously the floor plan is a lot smaller than the real house. The floor plan's on a piece of paper. The real house is a lot bigger than that. That means the floor plan rooms and furniture are similar to the real rooms and the real furniture. They're the same shape, but a different size. Architects also use similar figures a lot. Have you ever seen somebody reduce a photocopy? If you have a copy of a picture or something, a lot of copiers can reduce its size. Well, the original picture and the reduced picture are similar figures. So there are several different situations where you use similar figures in the real world.